Good morning. It's another very beautiful day here on Planet Earth School. <coughs> the sun is out. It's not even seven o'clock in the morning. And, um, and I'm here with my little dog who you might hear panting because uh, he's got his furry coat on. <coughs> he has got water, so don't worry. Um, he has got some water and he's also got some treats because um, he likes to have some treats in the morning before breakfast time. And why not? You know, you have to uh, give them the best possible experience whilst they're here with us, helping us to live life and be happy. So today I wanted to talk about um, 10 ways that you can keep yourself free from toxins in everyday environments. Um, I think I might have given a video similar to this once. And these are 10 things that I've thought of this morning that I think I should share. So, number one is you want to make sure you have house plants. Um, they'll clean your air. They will make sure that they absorb the toxins that are in the environment and take them away. So, some good examples of some house plants that you might want to have in your house would be, say, Ficus benjamina, which is this um, lovely green, bright green leafed uh, plant, hardish leaf. And then the trunk has these sort of, generally they get plaited. People like to get their trunks and plait them into funny shapes when they're still quite young. So as they grow, they sort of have this sort of like, ooh, I'm a plait look. So Ficus benjamina. Um, also <coughs> um, spider plants, very useful. Um, my doggy likes to eat spider plants, which he really shouldn't do. But, you know, what can I say? It's like can't really stop him when he's helping himself to the spider plant at two o'clock in the morning. So, um, so house plants, you can always look it up on the internet and get some ideas. <clears throat> I don't know how much um, they vary, you know, as in how, how powerful each one is. They all have the same strength. But get yourself some house plants. It's really, really useful. Number two, <clears throat> make sure that you wash your fruits and vegetables before you eat them. This is logical, I know. Most people do wash their fruits and vegetables before they use them. However, most people don't do it properly. And, okay, there are some fruits and vegetables which are a little bit more tricky because they are more porous, softer um, skinned fruits, like dates, for instance, um, strawberries, raspberries. So they can get a little bit baggy <clears throat> when you soak them. But um, otherwise, you want to be soaking your fruits and vegetables in <clears throat> some water with bicarbonate of soda and lemon juice. This really works well for me. There are other methods, of course. There are lots of different methods. Um, I know that some people use hydrogen peroxide, food grade. Um, I've never really worked with that much. And <clears throat> I remember when I was in Egypt... Um, Milton was used, those Milton tablets are often used for sterilizing babies' um, dummies or bottles or whatever they are. Um, although I'm not sure about Milton, I've never used that either. I mean, it must be alright if it's used on babies, but hey, you can't, you can't just assume anything. You have, to, uh, you have to be informed properly. Number three, do not overcook things. Don't take them of their nutrients and their enzymes and their life force energy. Um, allow them to be very gently cooked if you're going to cook them at all. Okay, And also be aware of what kind of pan you use. So um, I know a lot of people are still using those old um, aluminium pans or copper pans. I mean, in fact, some of the kitchens, um, none of the kitchens that I've worked in, but some of the kitchens that I've been in, when I was in the hospitality trade, I tell you there's a lot of aluminium cooking pans about still. And um, and they're just not good. And as for people with these copper pans that delight in them thinking that they're really posh and nice and sexy and gorgeous, they're just not good either. You don't want to be cooking in them. <clears throat> I know that there's a lot of controversy regarding copper, but excess copper is actually not good for the system like anything else. Excess vitamins not good for the system because it makes your system acidic. So just bear in mind what you cook your foods in, if you must cook them at all. And number four, steer clear of plastic. 
this goes without saying, in a world where there's so much plastic, plastic that is just all over the shop, we need to be really mindful about this. Plastic also leaches into your food, so you really don't want it. Um, so keep away from it. It will be a good idea to keep away from it. Um, as for these people that are just so into like their different Tupperwares, goodness me, Tupperware, what a load of nonsense. Get rid of it. Horrible stuff. Um, <clears throat> use plates and bowls. Plates and bowls, chinaware, you know. You don't have to have a, a lid that fits this. and You don't have to have all of that. You can get a bowl and put a plate on top. Boom. Easy peasy. No need for all of this extra stuff in the kitchen. Um, number five. Eat 80% raw if you can. Try to go 100%. Uh, I find it hard to stay on 100% raw. It's, uh, it's challenging for me. And I've got a willpower um, which is pretty strong. But you will get so much more benefit from eating a lot of raw foods. Especially fruits. Especially fruits because they have a higher vibrationary by content and uh, they're easily, much more easily digestible and, um, and they're really good for cleaning out your lymphatic system and helping you to move these toxins out of your body so whilst we're talking about you know helping save the body from all the toxins in the environment by eating lots of organic fruits and vegetables you're going to also be doing that so eat plenty just remember to wash them first um, number six when you get into your car, don't just go, oh, I must turn on the air conditioning, it's jolly hot. Don't do it, okay? Now, you might not know this, but in your car's manual, it will say not to just turn it on until at least 15 minutes after the, mo uh, the engine's been running. So, just be really mindful of that, okay? And the same with the heating when it's cold. Um, I know it's sort of like if it's really hot you're going to have to open the windows and then you've got all the fumes blowing in which is another thing that you might need to think about but a lot of this is awareness being aware so that you can make choices okay <clears throat> number seven be aware of the shampoo and other hygiene products you use on your skin uh, some of the words that are shoved into those things that just unpronounceable and you think well I don't even know what that is if I don't know what that is why would I be putting that in my body um, it's a tricky one because even organic things have loads of big words that you just don't know what they are and who has the time of day to be googling every single big word and what does it really mean anyway when you read the read the explanations for things so um, just try and keep it as simple as possible really simple and when I was on Gerson therapy, we were told that 60% of whatever you put on your body, your skin, is absorbed directly into your skin and into the blood system. So you want to think about that because anything that is absorbed into your body, your organs then have to work hard to, to eliminate it, to process it and get rid of it. So it puts a lot of pressure on your liver, kidneys, and other organs it's just it puts pressure on your body uh, puts pressure on your heart and it also um, well it just not very good for your brain either actually so just be aware of what you're putting on your skin okay um, eight drink beautiful water Obviously, all water is beautiful. You must tell it it's beautiful. You can pray over the water, in fact. Bless it beforehand. But you're going to increase its vibration. But if you can, aim to get organic water, water that's been drawn for organic, from organic land. And make sure that... Uh, you, or you can have, like, reverse osmosis put into your house um, or steam distilled water. I have steam distilled water little bit of controversy on that. Don't store your water in plastic though as well. Just say that again. Don't store it in plastic. <clears throat> but um, choose your water wisely. And if you can't get access to uh, organic 
drawn water. I mean, there's some places where there are wells and things like that. You can go and help yourself to nice, beautiful water. Um, but just, yeah, just pray over it first. That will just change it a lot, okay? Um, number nine. I know I've mentioned this before about being aware of like not putting your air conditioning on too soon when you get into the car. Um, but you've also got to bear in mind that if you want to exercise, which of course we should all exercise, you don't really want to be doing heavy breathing next to traffic. Um, heavy traffic because of all the fumes that they throw out into the road. So people like cyclists, runners, people like that, they just need to be mindful that if they're on a busy road where there's a lot of fumes being blown out, what can they do to balance it out afterwards when they return home? So uh, try not to work out in those areas. If you can work out somewhere which is out in the countryside amongst trees and things and woodlands and fields, that's going to be the better option. But if you have no alternative, then just to be aware so that you can do something to, uh, to bring back the balance afterwards. And number 10... Um, don't dry clean your clothes. I mean, obviously some people, they have to wear suits, they have to wear ties, they have to wear all these sorts of things that they say, dry clean only, dry clean only. But, you know, there are alternatives. You can get things these days. You can put them in the machine. Um, so consider your wardrobe and consider what needs to be dry cleaned. Maybe you don't have to dry clean everything, but dry cleaning is such a toxic chemical. I mean, if you go into a dry cleaners, it's like, goodness me. So do your best to leave that be alone, boo-boo. Do your best to, um, to avoid dry cleaning. Anyway, I hope this uh, video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching. And may you enjoy this very beautiful day in August 2018 here on Planet Earth School, um, raising the vibe and uh, may you love and flourish. Peace.